Quilting is my life. It is my sanity. It's my go-to feel-good place. In 2016, I was diagnosed in May. Um, my sister-in-law actually found out that I was sick by looking at my eyes. I had jaundice. And I went to the hospital and they found that I had a, through lots of tests, and it lasted forever, they found that I had a tumor on my gallbladder. That was the end of May, and so the end of June, I went to Intermountain, and uh, the doctor down there told me that they would, you know, take my gallbladder out and take half of my liver. We live 12 miles east of Burley in a little farming community called Declo. Burley is exactly halfway between Salt Lake and Boise. It's been a good place to raise our children and stuff. It's not too far to go to major cities or too far to go anywhere. There's recreation close. My kids have all stayed around here close, so. So my cancer is not in my blood, but it's in my bloodstream, and so it will wake up. And so therefore, I have to have chemo every three weeks, and I will until I die. Chemo comes from Salt Lake, and it doesn't, it doesn't, it comes by courier and doesn't come until 1230 and stuff. And so I usually have it at one o'clock and they just hook me up to an IV. And if I'm cold, they bring those nice little warm blankets and we just laugh and talk and visit and they leave me alone and then come back and check and pretty soon we're done and they unhook me and away we go. I've always sewed and stuff, but I just get great satisfaction out of it. I like everything about it. The cutting out, the piecing, the quilting. Oh, I've probably done 100, 150 quilts for different people. My kids all have them. I can cut here and sew here and quilt here and iron there and have all kinds of fun stuff. I asked Dr. Thoda today if she could tell me how many times I had had chemo. And so she started adding up and with her, I've probably had it 50 times or more. And I'd probably had it probably 20 times before. So I've had it a lot, an awful lot. And she keeps telling me people with gallbladder cancer live a year and a half and I'm here for six. So I feel very, very blessed. <laughs>